Concrete 5 is a really flexible web content management system, and it powers a wide range of websites, from tiny little personal ones to pretty big online applications. Because we're serving such a wide audience, we tend to bury power features so they don't get in the way of that initial user experience. And a great example would be permissions. So Concrete 5 ships with simple permissions. And if I come into the settings for this page by clicking the gear icon, and go to permissions, you can see um, pretty friendly, pretty lightweight. You've got who can view the page and who can edit the page as kind of the roles. And then you've got just three groups to pick from. Guests are anyone who's visiting your website. Registered users are anyone who's logged into your website. And administrators are people who have been put in the administrator group. Pretty self-explanatory. And this does let you make a page and lock it down so only other admins can see it. Um, you can also go over to your dashboard, uh, come into the members area, and you can add new users or you can add new groups and start to do things like say, you know, we've got an admin group, but maybe we'd like to have editors too. And they're folks who are going to give uh, access to some pages, but we're not going to um, let them get through the whole site. They can just edit parts of the site. And now when I come back to um, the permissions for this page, uh, you'll see we've got this editor's choice as well. And so that lets you kind of start thinking creatively with uh, how you can lock down uh, whole pages on your Concrete 5 site. If you need more granular control, we offer that as well. So if you come up here to the intelligent search box and type advanced permissions, you'll see under systems and settings, advanced permissions. And we let you know that once you turn advanced permissions on, you cannot turn them off. You'll see in a minute why. We're going to go ahead and enable them. And if I come back to this page now and go into the permissions, you will see a very different interface. So we can change how permissions are assigned, whether they are set manually at this page or they inherit down from the tree or from the page type in different ways. Uh, instead of just who can view the page and who can you know, edit the page, we now have uh, pretty granular uh, individual tasks. Who can edit the properties of the page? Who can edit the uh, contents of the page? And um, going through each one of these is beyond what I want to show you in this video. But if you go into our documentation area at concrete5.org, you'll find more information on all of this. Uh, but this will start to really let you create different roles and, and manage uh, who should be able to do what types of things across your site. Um, you'll also see, if I put the page in edit mode, that um, there's some new options. So on these blocks that already exist, there's a permissions dialog where you get another set of role-based permissions. And on block areas where you might not even have content yet, let me find a block area. There we go. If I click on this label for the block area, block areas have permissions too. So you can limit who can add how many blocks or what type of blocks to a block area. Uh, and in this way, you might start to lock down parts of your template. Say, look, I've got content editors that I really only want to be able to add uh, certain blocks to the main content column. I don't want to mess up the, uh, the main nav or the, uh, you know, the images across the top or what have you. We um, have taken this powerful permissions model, and we use this to manage the dashboard itself. So if you've been playing around with Concrete uh, 5, you know that there's uh, all sorts of pages here in what we call the dashboard uh, that let you control how things work. And um, these are actually Concrete 5 pages as well. So if I come into the full site map, you'll see down here a little checkbox that says include system pages in site map. If I turn that on, this site map reloads, and you can see now I've got all the dashboard pages as actual Concrete 5 pages. I could add new pages if I'm building my own application inside of this. Some packages will extend the dashboard by adding pages. Uh, you can rearrange things, although that's generally a pretty uh, dangerous idea. But if you uh, click on one of these, just like any other Concrete 5 page, you can see here's a bunch of stuff. And you can actually manage the permissions on who can get to what parts of your dashboard uh, the same way you would for any other Concrete 5 page using advanced permissions. So um, perhaps you want to let editors get into the sitemap, but you don't want to let them get into the members area and the reports area. 
Well, you could change the permissions on the sitemap to not inherit from the hierarchy, but just to be set manually. Yep. And then for this view permission, I can add another role. And you can pick specific users or combinations and all sorts of um, complex access entities. But we're going to keep this simple and say the editors should be able to get to the sitemap as well. Uh, now they'll need a direct link, but if they can get into that the sitemap page in the dashboard, uh, that is the beginning of making that work. It is not the end of it. You also, for this particular case, need to set up a task permission uh, to allow them to get to the sitemap. And the reason why is because we use the sitemap outside of the dashboard. So while it is a page in the dashboard, and sometimes you go there to manage the tree like we are here, uh, you also use that when you're picking a page from a block that wants to link somewhere. Uh, there's, there's places that you use the dashboard from a pop-up. So if you come back to the intelligent search box and I type task permissions, you'll see there's task permissions. And these are uh, a few just kind of uh, key roles that um, we've pulled out that you need to put groups into if you want to allow them uh, access via setting permissions on the dashboard pages like we just did. So while I added the editors to the actual dashboard sitemap page a second ago, I also need to come to task permissions and add them to the access sitemap task permission. And now um, editors, people who are in the editors group but not the administrators group will also be able to access the sitemap whenever Concrete 5 wants to serve the sitemap up to them. Uh, and that is just a quick taste of kind of some of the complexity that is under the hood of Concrete 5. If you want to learn more about permissions, you should definitely check out the user documentation.